The oak is an ancient and mystical tree. It is widely known as the king of the forest. The oak is synonymous with strength, endurance, and longevity. In Norse mythology, the great oak was associated with Thor, the god of thunder. As a way of divining the future, acorns were consumed by the druids, who were sometimes referred to as dyads, or those who delight in the oaks. This tutorial will guide you through the process of extracting dye from acorns. As the season gently shifts to fall, this is the perfect time to fill your basket with acorns. There are many species of oaks with equally varying leaf shapes. However, oaks fall into two categories, white and red. The leaves of white oaks have rounded lobes like the brown leaf on the left. The leaves of the red oaks have pointed lobes, like the green leaves shown here. Of course, the easiest way to find an oak is to look for the abundance of acorns scattered around its base. The general guideline when using whole or raw dye materials is to use a one-to-one -one ratio or equal weights of dye materials to natural fibers. Of course, there are always exceptions. You can use fewer dye materials to get more muted colors or a greater weight of dye materials to get darker, more saturated colors. For this tutorial, I will be using five mini skeins of wool yarn equaling a weight of 120 grams. Because acorns have a bit of weight to them, I will be using a 2 to 1 ratio, or 240 grams of acorns, for my dye bath. One final note before we get started. Acorns are naturally rich in tannins, Tannins assist the dye to bond to your natural fibers, thus eliminating the need to pre-morden your yarn. <laughs> 